Android fans, this is Eric from HollywoodPhoto.com with another Android app review. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the app Relax MP, which is a really cool uh, noise generator, sound generator app is the best way I can describe it. But it has one of the most amazing user interfaces I have ever seen on any app I've ever reviewed. So we'll get to that in a second, but before we do, I want to remind you that this review is sponsored by AndyTags.com. AndyTags is the best place on the internet to get really cool Android-themed stickers, tags, and keychains, all with NFC built into them for use with your Android phone. So really cool. Head over there. You can see all the cool products and also read up on NFC and find out just exactly what it is, why it's so cool, and why uh, you should be making use of it. Anyway, getting to Relax MP, let's just hop right on my phone because, again, visually, one of the most uh, uh, stunning uh, graphic user interfaces I've ever seen on an app. And uh, besides that, it has great functionality. So let's hop on my phone. I'm going to show you what it is, how it works, and uh, why the uh, 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 visual aesthetics just uh, blew me away. Okay, so right here we have the app Relax MP. So I'm going to tap that and open that up. And here you see that that beautiful graphic interface that I was telling you about that uh, I love so much. You basically have all these different little hanging tiles, and each tile represents a uh, a different sound. Let me Get you a little closer so you can see what they look like close up. But you can see just how simple but how beautiful that looks. And when you want a sound, you simply tap that tile and that sound will start. So here's wind. As soon as you do that, you can see a volume level pops up so you can adjust the volume. Now you'll see, as I hold this closer, that when a tile is active, it begins to rock. So that's how you know a tile is active. It is a little bit lighter and it rocks back and forth. So, so simple, but just uh, elegance, not a word I use very much in my life, but that's maybe the best way to describe it uh, because it really is. So scroll over, you want to add something else? Wind's going, let's add uh, wind chimes. So I'm gonna press that. You see the volume level pops up. You can make it as high or as low as you want. And you can see that it begins to rock back and forth to let you know that it's active. Now the overall volume level is down here. So besides adjusting each individual volume level in that mix, you can also adjust the overall volume level. You can also pause it and then start it back again. And if you want to clear it, you can click the X button and clear it all out. And uh, there's so many sounds. This is the third, fourth, fifth panel of sounds and six. So there's so many different sounds. Uh, and I don't want to read them all to you, but I mean vacuum, uh, foghorn, a wolf, frogs, uh, humming, grandfather clock, whales, uh, whales too, heavy rain, light rain, slow waves, uh, city sounds, a sprinkler, uh, earth drama, guitar, drum, choir, flute, uh, brown noise, pink noise, a train, uh, heartbeat, thunder, birds, rain. So all the sounds that you would expect and that you've seen on other uh, uh, players but also some extras. And then, what's really cool, if you go over here, you'll see that this is, uh, they have special sounds that are meant to be used with uh, your headphones on. These are bineural beats, and uh, they, uh, the tone goes from one ear to the next ear. And this is, if you study psychology, or you can look this up on the internet if you want, you'll see this is a Something that's big in, in the psychology world right now is being something that uh, really is supposed to help and be good uh, for you and for your, for your brain and your mind. 
And so they have one for concentration, one for relaxation, and one for pre-sleep. And then they have deep meditation, one for dreams, and one for dreamless sleep. So it's uh, uh, a lot of a lot of different options there. Uh, and then if we click the menu button, you'll see that you can set a timer. And so you can stop timer, five minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour, or you can choose a custom time. And you can also just set, set it to close the app once the timer hits. Go back to menu. And you can go to favorite. And so you can sort of uh, set your, your favorite combinations here. Um, these are built in automatic, different combinations of things that they think would be good, but you can create your own by clicking the plus button. And uh, right now I don't have anything selected, but if you had something selected and you click the plus button, then it would add that as your favorite. And as you can see, it shows you the volume levels underneath each one, the volume level of that sound uh, that you've set for that favorite. So if you wanted to play one of your favorites, you would just pick it and it would start automatically. And if you go back to your main screen, you see the ones that are part of that favorite are now slightly lit and gently rocking back and forth. Um, as I said, this is one of the most amazing graphical user interfaces um, I've ever seen on an app. It's just really brilliant, very simple, love, love the way it looks. Um, but of course looks would be nothing if it didn't have good functionality, but as you can see it functions really well. And you know, I'm playing that, that favor right now, but if I wanted to add something to it, then I could just add something to the sounds that are already playing it, or add to it. I can adjust the sound of what I've added to it. And there you go. So anyway, that is the, uh, that is the app, Relax MP, and uh, Pretty, pretty awesome, really beautiful, really uh, great working app. That was the app, Relax MP, and you've got to agree with me. Isn't that one of the coolest graphic interfaces you've ever seen? Besides that, it has great functionality, great sounds, um, the way you can combine them. Just an overall really great app for that uh, ambient noise type of app. Probably one of the not probably, definitely, one of the best available for Android. So I would suggest you check it out and consider picking it up. Anyway, if you like this review, please click the like button. Remember, that's if you like the review, not if you like the app. And uh, if you want to keep up with other really cool Android apps that are out there, then subscribe to my channel. You can watch all the uh, previous reviews I've done, as well as uh, keep up with new reviews, which I'll be adding each week. Uh, please share this review with uh, all your friends and family on Google+, Facebook, Twitter, etc., etc. And that's about it. Until next time, this is Eric reminding you that your Android phone is only going to be as good as you make it.